How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hucked me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Got some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down! What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Maybe rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <gasps> Arthur, how are you doing? Look at us. What kind of question is that? We'll be okay. Okay, brother. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess. I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> what the party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. 
This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. I can tell the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. 
Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Micah and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah. Just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on.